Mr. DeLuca. Mr. DeLuca's arm. Trust your meeting with Corinthos went well? Mr. Corinthos knows a great deal about you, I would imagine. He checked out some of your previous silent partners, previous associates, guys like me, mm -hmm. who haven't fared too well. Accidents happen. I told you this early on. So you did. Why are you after Jasper Jacks? Isn't your concern. You know that Corinthos is after you. Sonny Corinthos will never touch me. And why is that? Because I have something he wants more than anything in this world. You have that Sonny wants. So many questions. Well, you position me to go up against a very dangerous man. I need to know why. Or at the very least, what you've got for leverage against him. You've grown arrogant. I've always been arrogant. You just didn't notice. Arrogance doesn't help me. So what do you have that Corinthos wants? Neither does a partner who asks too many questions. Is this about his family? Is this about that woman? Uh, some money? What? What Let is it about? Let this go, DeLuca. Or as I may have mentioned, accidents happen. Carly, I need you to get a message to Jason immediately. I have been leaving messages all over for Jason, and he hasn't called me back. I have something very important to tell him. Will you please call him for me? Hey, you, Leticia, will you please take um, Michael to the car? Thanks. I'll, I'll meet you guys out there, OK? Um, well, OK. OK. Listen, if uh, Jason isn't returning your calls, then there's probably a reason no, for this. No, this isn't about me. This, it's about business. <sighs> Has someone threatened you? No. Okay, then, then, then listen to Jason, do what he asks, and stay away, okay? The last thing he needs is for you distracting him right now. Do you really think I'd be asking for your advice if this was about romance? Listen, I know something that could possibly save Jason's life. Compromise. Because you're gonna hide behind my sister as long as she's fool enough Hello? to stay... Hey, um, I'm at Kelly's, I'm picking up dinner, and, um, Elizabeth asked me to call you. Said that, um... She needs to speak to you and see you in person right away, or the world as we know it's going to come to an end. She said that um, she's been trying to reach you since yesterday, and you haven't returned her calls. It's about business. Why? Because she's she there every day. And... No, nope, she just left, and uh, she said she was going to check your spot. You would know what that means, and that you her. should meet her there. Okay. Um, um, yeah, it's... just if, if you see her, tell her I get there as soon as I can. <laughs> You're supposed to. Is that what you want? To leave. What? What is AJ doing in the penthouse? Hey, um, Mark, I know you didn't want to come, but I have something really important. Are you all right? You. Did someone threaten you? I'm fine. No, I'm, I'm fine. I overheard something I thought you'd want to know. About Alxar. I shouldn't have said his name to you. Yeah, well, you did. And it's a good thing, because last night, when I was closing up Kelly's, I overheard Roy DeLuca speaking to a man named Alcazar. They were, they were talking about Sonny. They had no idea I was there, Jason, I swear. But the point is, this, this Alcazar, he, um, he clearly is an enemy of, yeah, of Sonny's. Yeah, we know all about him. Okay, did you know that he has what Sonny wants more than anything? He said that Sonny will never touch him because he has what Sonny wants more than anything in the world. I told Roy that he has something Sonny wants more than anything in the world. Do you have any idea what this means? Yeah, it means you need to stay out of this. Alcazar is as bad as they come. I wasn't listening on purpose. I swear, I... But aren't you glad I heard him? And this way you could... Have some if, let, let me tell you something. If Alcazar would have spotted you, you wouldn't be here. Elizabeth, you would have disappeared, and this time there would be no chance for me to find okay, you. Okay, okay, Jason. I'm sorry. I get it, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. The next time I'm put in that position, I'll plug my no, ears and you start humming. No, next time you see Alcazar or someone dangerous, you get the hell out. Do you understand? Never mind eavesdropping or warning me. You shouldn't be involved in any of this. So this is you? Telling me what to do. No. I 
I don't want you to die. That's what it is. And I'm asking you not to risk your life for me. Maybe I want to. What? Did you like getting shot? And you remember how fast it happened, how surprised you were? What, what if the bullet was three inches over? I've held you once and watched you bleed. I can't do it again. <laughs>